Hi everyone, it's Skincare Nerd. So I wanted to do my video outside today because it's a gorgeous day. Um, so you might hear my dogs bark or a car go by or something like that. Just ignore it. Um, but I wanted to make a video today about hyaluronic acid. Um, it's something that's been around um, for a while in, in skincare, but for some reason this year it's become this huge trend and a bunch of brands have released um, hyaluronic acid products, moisturizers, serums, stuff like that. Um, so I just sort of wanted to talk about where it comes from and why we need it and why it's good for you and that sort of thing. So hyaluronic acid is a substance that's found naturally in the body. It's in the connective tissues of um, our skin cells, it's in our eyeballs, it's in the lubrication in our joints. Um, and as you age, your production of your own natural hyaluronic acid decreases. So if you think about things that are associated with aging, like arthritis in the joints and dry eyes and um, you know uh, moisture loss in the skin, um, it makes sense because you're losing a lot of your hyaluronic acid. Um, so initially, to put it back in, they would do injections into the joints and these injections were made by collecting hyaluronic acid from the crowns of roosters, or the combs of roosters, excuse me, so the thing that's, that's on their head. Um, unfortunately, you had to kill the rooster to get it. Um, and they started like breeding really weird roosters that had giant combs, like to the point where they couldn't hold up their own head. Um, so in skincare, we, pre we prefer to do, it's still a natural, I don't want to say synthetic, but it's still a natural process to make hyaluronic acid, but it is vegan. So we're not killing roosters. Um, another thing about the rooster derived hyaluronic acid is that it has a very large molecule, which is great for when you're lubricating your joints, but not so great when you're using it topically on your skin. Um, Larger molecules tend to just stay on the surface and don't penetrate all the way to the dermis, which is where you want your skincare to go if you want long-term results. So by fermenting a um, benign bacteria, uh, scientists were able to create uh, synthetic hyaluronic acid. Um, it's a completely vegan process. There are no animal byproducts, and this is mostly what's used in cosmetics. Um, not only because it's cruelty free, but also because the molecule is smaller. Um, because of that fermentation process, um, it breaks down the molecules and makes them like super energized. So it really can get down into the bottom layers of your skin. Um, so on a list of ingredients for skincare, what you want to look for is sodium hyaluronate. It very rarely says hyaluronic acid in the ingredients. It'll say it like on the front or um, on the box, but in the ingredients, you're looking for sodium hyaluronate, and that is the, the vegan version of hyaluronic acid. And that is also the most comparable hyaluronic acid to our skin. Um, so it's a very biocompatible. Your skin loves it. Um, the good thing about this is that hyaluronic acid holds a thousand times its weight in water. So it's attracting water to your skin, it's holding it there, it's preventing moisture loss, and it's really building sort of in between the cells and that connective tissue um, to really plump the skin. Um, its main use is for hydration, um, but of course hydrated skin always looks younger. Um, so you can say that it's, it's anti-aging if you wanted to. Um, a recent trend with all the um, all the hyaluronic acid products that have come out recently, um, I've noticed a lot of them have several molecular sizes of hyaluronic acid. So you're getting um, you're getting the large molecules and you're getting smaller molecules. So you have the smaller molecules that penetrate super deep into the dermis and give you that that long term result in the bottom of your skin. And then you have the larger molecules that sit on top, which give you the immediate hydration effect. Um, so it's really going 
um, sort of getting more in depth with the and more complicated with the hy hyaluronic acid. Um, and I will post a list of those products, um, the products that I recommend um, that have several molecular sizes of hyaluronic acid. I'll post that into the, in the description. One of them, though, is something that I really love. It is the Tidal from Sunday Riley. This is one of my absolute favorite moisturizers. I use it day and night. It has two molecular sizes of hyaluronic acid, and it's just this light um, sort of gel-like texture, so it doesn't feel like you're wearing a super heavy cream, but you're still getting an incredible amount of hydration. Um, another okay. product I really like is the Water Drop Moisturizer from Dr. Jart. This melts into your skin like water. It's absolutely amazing. I'm not sure how many molecular sizes are in there, but it definitely has that sodium hyaluronate in it, um, which just makes it ultra hydrating. Um, so most of the the hyaluronic acid you'll see is going to be in either moisturizers or serums. Um, I just showed you two moisturizers. Some serums that I like are the Peter Thomas Roth. It used to be called Vise 1000, which is what I have, but it recently went through a repackage and rename. So it's called Water Drench now, but it's still the same exact formula. Um, I also like the Hyloplasma from Dr. Pericone and the Hyaluronic Acid Serum from Skin Ink. This is um, really nice because it's in this dropper so you can sort of cocktail it with other, not only other Skin Ink serums, but just any serum that you want to. Um, and then another way you can get it is from sheet masks. And I really like these two. This is the Tony Mole Master Lab Hyaluronic Acid and this is the Face Shop The Solution Hyaluronic Acid Sheet Mask. Um, they're both really fantastic. Um, and I highly recommend them. But when you're looking for a product with hyaluronic acid in it, you want to make sure it doesn't have too much. So hyaluronic acid just by itself, 100% hyaluronic acid, is actually a powder. I know personally when I think of acid, I think of like a liquid, um, but hyaluronic acid is actually a powder. Um, so a lot like cement, if you mix it with too much liquid, or if you mix too much of it with liquid, it gets really, really thick. So you'll see a lot of, um, of serums that say, you know, 75% hyaluronic acid, 50% hyaluronic acid. That's impossible. It would be like putting cement on your face. It would be so, so thick. It would not penetrate the skin, um, and it would not feel good at all. Um, so the ideal amount of hyaluronic acid in your skincare is going to be about 2 to 4%, which isn't a lot, um, but it's just enough to get into the skin, get it treated, bind moisture to the skin um, without being super thick and uncomfortable. Um, if you do see a product that says like 70% hyaluronic acid or something like that, it's probably because they found some loophole in Technically, it's 70% something, but um, it's probably not 70% hyaluronic acid powder. Um, but yeah, that's all I think I have to say. I can't remember off the top of my head if I have anything else that I want to say about hyaluronic acid. Um, but definitely give it a try if you haven't, if you're dry skinned, um, even if you're oily skinned, you still need hydration. Everybody needs to hydrate. Year-round, hydration is the best thing you can do for your skin, 100%. So definitely check out some hyaluronic acid. If you want more um, product recommendations, look in the description. You can also follow me on Instagram, skincare.nerd. Um, I like to post like the masks that I'm using and my routines and stuff like that. So definitely follow my Instagram. And make sure you subscribe, and I will see you next time.